hey guys thank you for tuning back in i'm back again with another video but today we're just gonna take a break and i'm gonna do a quick tour of my studio and i hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think in the comments below let's do it This is my famous color wall. And all these are pending orders either on their way out or coming in. So all these are my different sewing machines. And this is my cutting table. So in these cubby holes is where I keep my zips, my different size and color zips and my elastics, all my day-to-day -day, uh, utensils, tools and whatever else I need, I keep them down there. Uh, on top here is my immediate stuff, so my pin cushion, my calculator, my scissors different types of scissors i said it in the other video that you will invest in a lot of scissors as you go at the moment i've got a little iron that i'm using because my industrial iron is at the shop getting fixed so i just have to make do with this one for maybe the next couple of weeks and my mannequin i've got a couple of these here and at home I've got one male mannequin and that one I think I bought it when I was a student but the quality is really bad so I've ended up just leaving it there. I don't know how everyone else has ever found these ones. I think these are the Runway brand. They're really bad. Like I don't, it was, it was a cheap quality brand that I wouldn't suggest you to buy that unless it's something that you're buying to just leave in your bedroom and you put your clothes there maybe but other than that no I don't like that brand um, this brand I bought it second hand off someone who was traveling or leaving the country it's been really good to me and I would recommend it but they're very very expensive so because I got it second hand I think I bought it for like a hundred dollars is compared to the three five or thousand dollars that they actually cost I do have a few more that I'll show you later so with my machines the one question that people always ask me is why do you need so many machines so I will try and explain that as best as I can so this is my industrial straight sewing machine which does pretty much that just so straight but it is electronic and then we have this one is my jeans sewing machine which is very good at sewing really tough fabrics like jeans leather and any tough fabric that wouldn't go through your domestic machine this machine will definitely get the job done it is assisted by the hammer which I always keep on the machine in case the fabric is really 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 rough I can just use that hammer to help me achieve what I need to get done this is my second straight sewing machine which is the same as the first one that we saw and I mostly use this machine compared to the other one because it's just positioned perfectly because I can do my sewing over there do my overlocking over here and then do my jeans right there so all I need to do is to maneuver my chair from the three different angles all right so like I mentioned this is my overlocking machine and this is called a blind hem machine so if you look at the men's trousers usually the stitching on the hem doesn't show that's because they've used a blind hem machine I like this machine 
it is so good and it's very strong this one is called a double stitch machine which usually does the stitching on your stretch fabrics like your t-shirts if you look at the hems or the sleeves of your t-shirts they use this machine because it allows you to stretch the garment as you wear it and use it but not break the stitching so that is what this machine is for that is a second overlocking machine that is in that corner because i really use it at the moment with the setup that i have in here but in a nutshell i have two of the straight sewing machines and two of the overlockers and an individual of these other unique ones and as for my color wall i do get a lot of compliments and comments about it i love it because it just brings color to the room and i've got not all the color you will actually be amazed that i don't have all the colors that i need because you get that one dress or that one pair of pants that has no color on this wall so that is the reason why i would go to my local fabric shop to get that specific color if they have it but if they don't i'll try and see what i can blend to get the order done but other than that i hope you enjoyed this tutorial these are the garments that i'm making or i'm about to start making or fixing that are in store at the moment that i'll be starting on soon after this vlog or i don't know maybe later on and back there is where i store all the extra fabrics and other stock that i need and i do have some buckets down here for extra overlocking thread because i don't have enough space to put all my overlocking threads so i just put the major colors that i need and then i stock all the extra colors in those bins I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're gonna like subscribe to my channel and if you want to see more DIY videos like and subscribe my channel and you can see more videos other than that she say say